The presidency will be decided in 13 battleground states. They have a combined population of 108 million, a third of the country, and a third of the electoral votes, 173. Of course, it takes a, two, a total of 270 to win. Our correspondents have the back battleground states covered, beginning in a state that has picked the winner in all but two elections since 1904, Ohio. I'm Dean Reynolds in Columbus, Ohio, where 23% of the state's registered voters have already cast ballots, about 11,000 more than did so in 2012. Of particular interest tonight will be the turnout in the Cleveland area, where Hillary Clinton is heavily dependent on African American support. No Democrat has won the presidency without winning Ohio since John Kennedy in 1960. No Republican has won the presidency without winning Ohio ever. I'm Mark Strassman in Miami, where there's a push by both sides for last minute voters. This was a rally in Little Havana by Hispanics for Hillary in a state that has roughly two million Hispanic voters. Clinton wants them, Trump needs them to win this state and have a chance to win the White House. Six and a half million Floridians voted early, a record. Three million more may vote today. Florida is tonight's biggest battleground prize, and in a race considered dead even, the Clinton camp has a much better organization here. I'm Jerika Duncan in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where both Republicans and Democrats have been keeping a very close eye on the polls today. Teams of people have been deployed throughout the city and the suburbs to ensure the electoral process is not compromised. In fact, nearly 100 assistant district attorneys and investigators have been assigned to the election fraud task force. According to a nonpartisan watchdog group, so far there have been no reports of any major problems. I'm Jan Crawford in Raleigh, North Carolina. To win here, Clinton needs a big showing from African-American voters. But early voting, compared to 2012, is down 9 percent. Today, we saw voters standing in line, making calls to try to drum up support like this. Got to get it in, man. You already voted. Why you ain't vote, man? Now, on the flip side, Trump needs rural whites to come out big. And early voting suggests they did. I'm Chip Reed in Janesville, Wisconsin, hometown of Paul Ryan, the Republican Speaker of the House. Ryan is expected to win re-election to Congress tonight, but when he returns to Washington, the road is expected to get much rougher. If Hillary Clinton is the next president, she and Ryan could be engaged in an epic battle for the next four years. And if it's Donald Trump, well, Ryan refused to actively campaign for him, prompting some conservative House Republicans to call on Ryan to step down as Speaker. I'm Ben Tracy in Phoenix, Arizona, where these students are protesting not only Donald Trump, but also their local sheriff, who is up for re-election and imposed by many for his tough stands on illegal immigration. Now, this is a red state that Hillary Clinton is trying to flip and make blue, but that is a very tough challenge here. Since 1952, only one Democrat has won the state of Arizona, and that was another Clinton, Bill Clinton, in 1996. Scott. Ben Tracy, thanks one and all. That's just a sample of our CBS News election night team covering the entire nation and the world. We'll have our entire team at the top of the hour, 7 o'clock Eastern time, and then we will be on all evening and well into the morning with the latest returns and analysis.